We've just arrived in Mumbai. Everyone's rather exhausted, but also very excited and charged up. And uh, we're going to hit the road. We're going to walk around the site and experience the city in the next few days. The Mumbai Studio, as we call it here at the GSD, is one of many projects, workshops, studios we'll do under this rubric of extreme urbanism. This is a fascinating project because it's 1,400 acres of land uh, in a prime location, but it's highly contested. It also has 100,000 squatters living there, what we call slums, and so there are problems of housing, problems of hygiene, etc. One intention is to create kind of a research culture, uh, but also to give back to the city, and so what we do is we always associate ourselves with local NGOs who become part of the project, who assist us in our field work. And we see this as creating instruments for advocacy for these groups so that they actually have this research which they can use and it becomes a great way that the university can give back. The student chemistry on these projects is fantastic because it's so unpredictable. You have business school students who come into a studio like this you know, with their numbers and their calculators all ready to maximize profit on the site. The design school students who are only concerned about the moral dimensions of what they might do and invariably at the end of the semester they're kind of speaking each other's language very easily. Projects like this create very interesting crossovers between schools which otherwise tend to get siloed. I can see students in uh, my class feeling much more comfortable taking a course in another school after having done the studio because they've suddenly, you know, been exposed to another dimension, another way of looking at the same problem.